welcome to Listertainment, the channel with the most deceptive name in all of YouTube. And don't forget to check out my merch and help support my channel by buying something. On today's video, we'll be looking at fighters who were down either after being knocked down in a boxing fight or were considered a down opponent in MMA and got hit by a vicious shot that was completely uncalled for and in many cases caused them to be unable to continue and led to disqualification of the offending fighter. I don't really see any on this list that are accidents, but you can be the judge of that yourself. If you happen to enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe down below and make sure to turn on those notifications. Let's get started. This fight actually took place back in 2013, but was making the rounds again this year. It was the fight between Konstantin Gluhov, who delivered this illegal kick on Mikhail Gasev and got disqualified. I'm gonna take a wild guess here and say that Mikhail is more of a grappler, so that's why he chose this fighting style, which may seem cowardly to a lot of people. He thought that he had no chance in the striking game, so in order to disarm Gluhov's kicks, he would stay on the ground and hope that Gluhov takes the bait, but he never really did. He kind of looks like a monkey fighting since he always has one hand on the ground and then dives all over the octagon. This happened early in the first round when Sekio Bika was disqualified for delivering this illegal punch to John Paul Mendy, knocking him unconscious. Bika, like many others on this list, claimed that he didn't see that Mendy's knee was down, but come on man, you stopped yourself from hitting him first. Then you saw the opening and decided to actually take the shot. This was an immediate disqualification by the referee and Mendy had to be taken to the hospital where he turned out to be okay. Mike Kyle is the guy kicking Brian Olsen into another dimension and losing the fight via disqualification. This is the only fight on this list with extreme consequences as Kyle was suspended from fighting for two years and it was well deserved cause holy crap that was a crazy hard soccer kick to a clearly downed opponent. And even after that, he still rushed in to deliver two more punches before the ref got on top of him and then still delivered another shot after he was pulled off. What a crazy maniac. If you haven't watched the fight between Juan Manuel Marquez and Marco Antonio Barrera, then you should do yourself a favor and go watch it. Watch this list first. Marquez ended up winning this fight, but not by disqualification after this blatant late hit by Barrera, but by unanimous decision. Barrera was able to land a perfect right counterpunch that hurt Marquez enough to put his gloves on the canvas, and then Barrera inexplicably comes in and hits him again while he's doing the downward dog. The referee did not count the knockdown and in turn deducted a point from Barrera. But this didn't affect the results as Marquez won pretty easily on the scorecards. Now he hurt Mathis with that right hand. That was a terrific right hand and Buster is flat footed at the moment. Dunking and slipping. Bo has missed seven straight big shots. And then he... That was Reddick Bo delivering a crushing right hook on Buster Mathis who had just taken a knee thanks to the punishment that Bo was delivering seconds before. Bo said that he couldn't tell that Mathis was down since he fought using a crouching stance and was also 5 inches shorter than him. Mathis was actually knocked unconscious and the referee felt that he couldn't continue, so he and other officials took 20 minutes deliberating as to what should be the result. In the end, they concluded that the fight should be ruled a no contest. Again, I don't really buy the excuse from Bo because he didn't throw the punch like the guy was still fighting because he just kind of threw it and didn't go back to his normal stance. He just let both hands drop down. Oh, oh, both both fighters are oh. down. This is by far the most brutal one on this list and it was done by Sean West over Boston Salmon. At first, I thought he was going to land the knee on Salmon as he was getting up, but no. 
he knew exactly what he was going to do, delivering that illegal hit on a downed opponent. Then he celebrates like he won the fight. I can't tell if he doesn't know the rules or if he's just an idiot. Of course, he got disqualified and Salman actually got serious injuries, getting a broken orbital bone and cheekbone. Yeah. And right now, Durrell is uh, well. He slips again. Oh, that was a foul. foul. Down. That's a foul. And if he's knocked out, Abraham should be disqualified. That was Andre Durrell slipping and falling onto the ground with Arthur Abraham just coming in to deliver a very late hit right to his chin that did serious damage knocking him out. Durrell was ahead in the fight very comfortably and maybe Abraham was just frustrated since he was getting outclassed. Abraham says that he didn't think Durrell was down because he was looking at his eyes and not at his feet. But that's funny because Durrell was looking at the ground and it should be obvious that he's down when his head is at your dick level. Also, you pause for a second before throwing that last punch, which kind of makes it seem like you knew he was down. Well, alright then, that's a very weird way of fighting. Coming from Chad Sermon, very similar to the one we saw earlier. Except this time the other guy, Brian Kerr, didn't allow his opponent to do this for too long. He just took his chance and kicked him right in the face. I wonder if he was just tired of this type of crap, or was he trying to time the kick just perfectly so it landed right when his hand was off the ground. If he was, it didn't work, because he got disqualified. Although the fight was later changed to a no contest. You can even see his face, like damn it, why the hell did I just do that? Billy Div met in this boxing match with Kenichi Yamaguchi back in 2009 that resulted in a small brawl. Dib was knocked down early in the first round, but he made a strong comeback that same round to knock down Yamaguchi, but it looked more like a slip than anything else, but that's when the problem started. Yamaguchi was clearly on his knees when Dib delivered a hit with his left hand that hurt Yamaguchi and although he was able to stand up, he was clearly wobbly and the ref stopped the fight, naming Dib the winner. Obviously the ref is blind cause there is no way he didn't see that hit. Either way, Yamaguchi pushed the ref, then Dib pushed Yamaguchi and then he pushed his coach also. In the end, the boxing commission changed the result to a no contest because duh, it's obvious that the ref messed up. This happened back in 2006 when Anderson Spider Silva was fighting against Yushin Okami. It is against the rules to kick a guy in the head when their knees are on the ground, and that is exactly what happened here. Even though that move by Silva was brilliant and delivers a kick with so much force, Okami was given the chance to continue the fight after getting the opportunity to recover, or he could also just take the win by disqualification. He chose the latter and Silva was disqualified which made him pretty angry, saying that it was a cowardly way of winning and that he could have come back as he wasn't that hurt, but he chose not to. I guess you take the win however you can, especially against a guy that you probably don't have a chance of beating. Well guys, do you think all of these fighters should have been disqualified? Let me know in the comments. I think it's a good idea to give the opponent a chance to decide if they are well enough to continue because many fighters don't want to win in this way and they just want to continue fighting no matter what. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.